Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is still Friday, June 24th, 2022. We already talked about that on the Drunk Pool Guru Tis Beer Time. So yesterday we went to uh, Niagara Oast House Brewers there, Niagara on Lake, Stone Road, Niagara Stone Road, uh, for the Grandma's Strawberry Rhubarb Ale release, one of my favorite beers of all time. Still have a growler-ish left to finish that tonight tomorrow. I also wanted to pick up some other stuff that Oast House does. Now they have stuff in the LCBO. They've got their, you know, their their Oast uh, Pale Ale. The uh, they have the Porter in the LCBO. They've got some other bottle conditions. One of my favorite beers from them, and I haven't had it in way too long, is their bottle condition saison. Uh, traditional Wallonian saison. This is one of those beers that introduced me to saisons. Uh, Six point five percent. It is the cage and cork method. Old school. Now these are not. Um, I don't know. They don't get enough love, and I think they should get more love because these are great beers. This is—they're good for five, you know, up to five years. You can age them. This was uh, bottled on the 2019. This pre-pandemic saison. Pre-pandemic saison. Can you believe it? I love the pop. You gotta be ready for the pop. You ready for the pop? Hope I don't blow it. I blow it all the time. You know, gotta get it to the right point. It's like champagne. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. So, for me, the introductions to this, these styles of beers, I remember I drove out to Oast House, I say five, six years ago, six years ago now, uh, with my mom, and, and we went on just a day trip, went to there, and we went to Silversmith, and I picked up one of everything, because at that point I didn't know anything, right? Um, and I got this, and I was like, what's that? Like, what is that? What's happening here? Working man's beer. Yeah. So, it's Oast House. For, yes, I love my grandma's strawberry rubber pie and all the other wacky stuff you guys do, the weird stuff. But the traditional, the traditional stuff is is the bread and butter, man. It's the gold standard. Let's go. Cheers. Absolutely adorable, lovely, big bold banana up front. Bold banana. Then you get that nice bit of. Uh, zesty citrus, lemon, orange. Um, there's a little bit of clove. Uh, there's this lovely textured mouthfeel to it, too. It is very dry, peppery, um, effervescent, yet earthy on the back end. It is a fantastically refreshing beer. It is a complex beer, but I find it is super accessible, um, despite the complexity, because it does deliver these notes in this well-balanced fashion. It is fantastic beer. It's one of those beers that I don't buy very often. It's a big bottle, first of all. And, you know, I don't get out to host a lot. And so when I do, and I said this to myself yesterday, like I'm spending a significant amount of money buying three growlers of Grandma's Strawberry Rhubarb Ale, because it's not a cheap beer to make. So it's an ex expensive beer to buy. It's worth every goddamn penny. I don't care. It's not over hype. It's a beautiful piece of history, man. Then I bought this, and I'm like, and having it right now, I, I feel like I have this, this I have goosebumps because I have this sense of the beginning, man, so long ago, when I just, I was, everything was so beautiful back then, so easy, because I didn't know things, and I know things now, and I want things to be better now, so definitely something that I love having, and I love being able to sit here and go, man, this is a great beer, and I, you know, this industry needs to continue to get better, and I, I hope it will. I'll do what I can, but I mean, support people you can, support your loved ones, you know, reach out to your friends who need some help, maybe. Maybe now's the time, let's share some beers, get out on the patio, go to Oast, sit on that patio, get some barbecue, get some Saison, get some strawberry rhubarb ale, you know, just get out there and do it. So, cheers, my friends, Polk loves you, stay safe, stay sane. We're all in this together, we really are, those of us who care. Yes, cheers. I'm legitimately excited about I forgot how really how goddamn good this beer is. And that is a wonderful, wonderful surprise. <laughs>